when you compare yourself to others, it can really throw you off your game and make you doubt everything that you've ever done. But it doesn't have to be that way. Find out my take coming up. What's up everybody, my name is Larry G. I'm a portrait and lifestyle photographer based in Louisiana from Baton Rouge to New Orleans and everywhere in between. And today I wanna to talk about comparing yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others is something that we all tend to do now in the digital age. It's so easy to get on social media and see what everyone else is posting and see where everyone else is going and what they're doing and how their life is. If your life is nowhere near that, it makes you feel bad. It can make you question your own life decision. But we have to remember that on social media, most of the times, people are portraying the best versions of themselves. They're showing you the highlights. This is a highlight reel, a movie trailer with the best parts jam packed into it. It's not the late nights crying or the late nights working or their depression or anxiety. Unless they're sharing those things, you'll never know what those people go through. You're also not seeing the struggles. You're not seeing the 50 emails that they got that said no. You're not seeing them fail 5 million times. You're not seeing the 10,000 hours that they're putting in to their craft. You have to remember that. Last week, I shared how I took a month off of Instagram. Although I wasn't posting, I was still watching. Very early on in my break, I noticed that people that I knew in person were going different places and taking these amazing pictures and sharing these amazing stories about how they went to these different places. And honestly, I started to feel bad not because I'm not talented enough or not because I can't go do those things, but because I wasn't. And it made me look deep inside myself and ask myself, why do you feel this way? Why are you comparing your life to theirs? You don't know what they're going through. You don't know the sacrifices they've made. You don't know their financial situation. You don't know their anything. All you can see is that cool picture that they posted on the internet. You don't know anything else. And unless you talk to them and figure it out, there's no need to compare yourself to them. Because not only is your current situation different, but everything leading up to that has been different. They were brought up differently than you. They had different parents than you. They went to different schools than you. And even if though all of those things are the same, comparing the way that you live your life to the way someone else lives their life isn't fair to you. You are a person with your own unique personality, understanding, abilities, talents, and everything else and in between. You are unique and you can do things your way you don't have to do them the same way or even a similar way to someone else. The best thing about living life is that it's not like a math problem. It's not two plus two equals four. It can be, you can start at point A and point B and go always in between to reach the finish line. There's no right or wrong way to get to where you need to go. That is the beauty and understanding that you don't have to compare yourself to other people, even in your field. I have photographer friends who have shot everything from landscapes to models to uh, underwater pictures and everything else, and it's amazing. Their journey is awesome, but my journey's different. And just because our journeys are different doesn't mean we can't be friends, and it doesn't mean that I should compare my photos or my journey to theirs. It's just different, and that's fine. I wanted to get on here and motivate you to live your own life your way. I'm leaving this break so that you can process what I said. Live your life your way. Stop comparing yourself to other people. It's not fair to you and it's not really not fair to them either. Instead of comparing yourself to other people, I'll give you an alternative. Compare yourself to your past self. 
look back over the course of a year, five years, 10 years, however long you've been working on what you're working on, even if it's a month, take time and look back and see how much you've grown. See how much you've grown in your work. See how much you've grown in your process. See how much you've grown as a person. Sometimes it's so easy to just go a whole year without looking back on past work. And then you take a step back and you say, wow, a year ago, I did it this way, but now I'm better, I'm faster, I'm more capable of doing this thing. And you don't notice it because the growth in between those phases is so incremental unless you just massively upgrade overnight. But the growth is so small that you don't notice the huge gap that you've created for yourself. The only proper comparison is you versus you. That is how you get better. The only person you should be out working is you. The only person you should be comparing your life to is yours. If you want to get better at something, you have to do it more consistently and more often. And chances are, if you're listening to this or you're watching this, then you are the type of person who wants to be better, who wants to do better. So stop comparing yourself to other people and compare yourself to your past self so that you can see the growth, you can see the maturity, you can see all of the good things that have come from a life lived. That's my motivation for you this week. Stop comparing yourself to other people and go live your life. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and listening. If you feel compelled, leave comments where you can leave comments. If you're listening, please check out the show notes, engage with the community. I'll be in the comments to answer questions, talk about things with you. Feel free to send me a message or a direct message and uh, let's really build this community together. Thank you for watching and listening. My name is Larry G. You can believe that and go live your life.